we've shown you how to get the holiday music in uh, this season, this festive season of the year. The man who brings us the great holiday cooking ideas is the third best cook in America. He is the creator of Healthcraft Cookware, the author of numerous cookbooks, and my good friend, Mr. Charles Knight, hey. who is uh, cooking. ready to, well, it looks like, Oh, you're not supposed Boy. to see that. Yet. Oh, I'm That's not supposed to see that. Spot. I'm looking. You have nothing out here but prunes. Wait a minute. You just smacked the Bush yeah, Gardens I'm animal. I'm sorry. That's that's, uh, that's part of the display. That fly was Excuse meant me. to travel around with one of the goats. Yeah. It's kind of a uh, you know. Well, anyway, I, I just well, you, I do see piles of prunes right there. Which well, yeah, I, I know you've been having a problem being regular. And, uh, <laughs> I've been oh, I, I I've been out here every day, Monday through Friday oh, for that, months now, yeah, <laughs> for now, years. We've got a we've got a real simple and easy recipe. I was supposed to cook a recipe from the Showboat Cookbook, but yeah. nobody told me. <laughs> I, well, I know the, the Showboat Cookbook is the one we're talking about. Yeah. This thing here is uh, one that's associated with the Showboat. The, the play the showboat, which of course is coming to town, Very and good. this has some fabulous recipes that you had been cooking I out of before. Cooking, yes, but this cooking. is not one of the recipes in the showboat. No, this cooking. is not one of it. But this is an this, excellent recipe. This is one of this those. This is going to be available, by the way, at the Tampa Performing Arts Center right. when showboat is on, and as well as bookstores and things well, see, like I that. Well, see, I thought I was still supposed to be cooking one of our sponsors' products, which is a duck. Yes, but since they are not a, uh, they're not a sponsor today, we can cover up the name. Well, they are in another <laughs> couple of weeks. Now, they're regular they're, sponsors. Yeah. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to cook a, a half a rotisserie duck, so I'll let you open that. A so half, half a rotisserie half duck? A roti yeah, because it's very difficult to get the whole duck inside the package. Oh, so I see. I'm going to cook half of them, what, right? a, what would you call a half a rotisserie? I mean, what's a rotisserie duck as opposed to another duck aside from deceased? I mean, what? How do you look at a duck and say, now, there is a rotisserie the duck. What's a rotisserie duck? This is a duck that's been cooked on a rotisserie. Ah, well, that that explains good. it. See, Plus, now, there are a lot of body parts missing as opposed to Donald Duck or a regular well, duck. Well, he looked pretty ridiculous with his head and, in there. And only half of it. <laughs> it, wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be that appetizing. Have you ever wondered why Donald Duck never wears pants? No, I never really thought about that. Well, and but the <laughs> funny thing is, he runs around with Mickey Mouse, who never wears a shirt. I mean, Mickey I wears see. pants, Donald wears a shirt, Donald's pantsless, Mickey's shirtless. You ever thought about that? Not really. Well, that's something <laughs> I was... Obviously, you have. Well, you want to know something really bizarre in that relationship? What's that? Goofy and Pluto, right? Pluto is, Goof is Mickey's dog. Aren't we at Goofy Bush Gardens? Goofy is his good friend. <laughs> but I was just thinking about, here's one of them that runs around barking and the other talks. One wears clothes and the other one doesn't. You wonder why Goofy's never told Pluto, Pluto, get up on your hind legs, put some clothes on, and talk. Actually, see, what I'm wondering is why you're plugging all these no, things. No, I'm not. Here we go. All right. right. Well, get your duck. Here's your... I okay. just thought of the duck reminded me. <laughs> anyway, and, oh, and Mr. Bush was here yesterday, too, so <laughs> we'll be scrubbing all this stuff back there. I need you to open the package. All right, now, this, this is frozen, all right? So, and the nice thing about this, you know, around the holidays, Oh, this is going to be good. I can see this. Well, I've got it right, now. Around the holidays, you know, a lot of times you don't have a lot of time to cook, so you want to use some prepared food, but that doesn't mean that you have to eat fast foods and things of that nature, okay? You can do something like this very quickly. All In right. most homes, this would be very quickly. All you want to do is just out. drop the duck into the pan. So you don't have to cook this in the oven. It can be cooked right on top of the pan. <laughs> now, the pan is, don't wipe it on my clothes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, the pan is already preheated. What you want to do that, you want to, you want to add one cup of orange juice. I've already measured Oh, so a cup of orange juice. This is beginning to sound like duck l'orange, duck, la, duck la orange, or whatever they call it. It's just duck with orange juice. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds like the orange juice in the pan. All right, you can pour that quickly. Yeah, okay. okay. All of it? Yeah, the whole thing. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a medium high, and we're going to reduce this. And as the as the orange juice reduces, it'll make it a thick it'll make it a thick sauce, and the duck will cook at the same time. So it's very simple, very easy. Okay, you it's not complicated. You reduce. The, reduce uh, it, which means what you'll you'll yeah. you'll cook it on a medium or medium a high heat, and it'll actually uh, thicken the orange juice. The only thing to be left will be the yuckies. Oh, it's a bit the yucky. You know. the, the stuff, but it becomes a thick sauce, the orange yeah. sauce, right? Kind of like why duck, you reduce it. Kind of like duck lagange. This is duck with orange juice. I know, but the orange juice no, becomes like an orange sauce no, in the thing. This is duck with orange juice. Okay, are you, you going to whip that in something, or what do you no, do that, here now? That's all you've got to do is you just let that reduce. Now, okay. as you're letting that reduce, all right, what you want to do is get the rest of the ingredients ready. What I've got here is I've got some prunes. Oh, yeah, please don't tell Joe he's right. down on well, prunes. No, he's, prunes are he's good for you. He's actually afraid. I know prunes are good for cook, you. Cook, uh, cook prunes. <laughs> cooked prunes. Yeah. All right, cooked prunes are actually very good in a, in a recipe. The, only, the other thing we got is a persimmon. 
Oh, that makes you... Do you ever have one of these? Like that. I've, I've heard about right. it. I've this is excellent cooked as well, so I'm going to let you prepare that. The only thing Can you eat is... those things raw? If you like. No, I mean, I was wondering why people always say persimmons make them make their mouths draw well, up. Well, they do. Like it's, kind of a, it's kind of a combination of a citrus fruit, and it looks like a tomato, but it's, uh, it's grown in California. It's grown in the United States. It's well, I'll tell you what. We'll take a break. We'll come back here. We'll put the stuff, the prunes and the persimmon and whatever else in here, and then get, get us a regular. taster yeah. and try this thing here. I've been here every day. I haven't missed a day, Monday through Friday. It's 7.45 p.m., and the sun will come out any minute now because the musical of tomorrow is back. That's right. It's the 20th anniversary Broadway production of Annie, the musical that got every award Broadway has to give. Everyone's going to be there, so now's the time to get your tickets because Leapin' Lizards, tomorrow's only a day away for Annie. Starring Sally Struthers. January 13th through 18th the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. Tickets through Ticketmaster. If you're looking for a new career, here's one you don't want to overlook. The demand for drivers in the trucking industry has never been greater. Roadmaster Driver School at the Florida State Fairgrounds can get you in the driver's seat in just three weeks and on your way to a new career. Trucking companies need drivers today. Most offer tuition reimbursement and will pre-hire qualified applicants. Call Roadmaster today at 1-800-831-1300. Be working in just three weeks and on your way to a professional career in the trucking industry. That's 1-800-831-1300. Call now. You're not tied down to any one place anymore. You're free to spend your summers in one part of the country, your winters in another. It's a good thing there's a Medicare health plan that gives you access to membership benefits extending to areas across the country at no extra cost. So even if the change of seasons brings a change of residence, you're likely to enjoy the same dependable coverage year-round. This special program is called United Health Passport, and it's only available with Medicare Complete. We also provide low-cost office visits and prescriptions, a wide choice of physicians, and complete hospital coverage for no monthly plan premiums. You've earned coverage that's with you from season to season and place to place. For a free booklet about Medicare Complete, the only plan with United Health Passport, call now. There's no obligation. Medicare Complete. The health coverage you've earned from a company you can trust. <laughs> uh, welcome back as we splash the orange sauce onto the rotisserie de duck. Orange juice. Orange juice okay, onto now, the duck. Next thing you want to do is you want to put some brown sugar in there. And you can make this as sweet as you like. It's up to you. Oh, I like, I do love you? brown sugar. Okay. Well, I think that's good. But Put a uh, lot of brown sugar in there. We don't have anything to... Yeah, you know, just use a sugar. fork. The fork's okay. fine. Just put the brown sugar in there. And then you want to have this a little bit more reduced in it. Don't put it on the duck. Put it in the sauce. Oh. Yeah. You can get the fork a little bit closer to the juice so it doesn't splash. Okay. Okay? There you go. All right. Normally, I put about two or three tablespoons in here, but, you know, it just depends on how sweet you really... Well, this will be three tablespoons. Okay. Put one more over on that side just so we can equal it off, all right? Okay. We're going to mix that up just a little. Boy, you do make a mess, don't you? Well, it's, I, well we... I don't know why we didn't use a okay. spoon to get the uh, well, stuff out. I don't have one. That's why we didn't oh, use okay. it. okay. <laughs> well, at least all right, I got now, you want to get the persimmons ready, all right? You want to pull the... Uh, just pull the core out. Pull the core out? Yeah, pull the core out. Boy, that is... That's like leather. Well... Just a little bit oh, dry Oh, my. Out. Look at okay. that. That's the only part you can't eat. All right. Now, what you want to do is when you pull this out, you want to wash this around the top. Because I would hope get so. some mud up in there. And you don't yeah. want to... Actually, it makes a good sauce, too. All right. Now, cut the persimmon in half. Let me get this out of the way. Before I do this, you mean like this? Yeah. Just cut the persimmon down in half. Okay. All right. I'm going to kind of... Uh, let me turn I'd this. love to taste that to, to see what it, well, how bitter it beans. is. You'll like can, you, it. can you afford yeah, that? Yeah. What you want to do is see, I, these, are, these are not ripe yet. Well, not ripe yet? No, they're not ripe yet, because if you're going to cook, you don't want them ripe. That's not bad, is it? It's like eating alum. <laughs> Come on. Wow. It is. But what I you, got grit all over my teeth now. What you, what you want to do is you want to make it, they have to be ripe to eat them, but when you're going to cook them, you don't want them ripe. <laughs> yeah. This is no longer a cooking set. That's bad. Okay. What you okay. want to do is you want to slice these like this. All right, this way you want them sliced. So I'll let you do that. Oh man, I know you're going to do I'm gonna, that. And I'm going to I'm going to put the prunes in here as you do the slicing. All right, now the the prunes will actually swell up as the sauce is being made, and the juices from the prunes. Oh, sure are swell prune prunes you have there. 
I don't think we're going to get a Cable Ace award or any other kind of award this year. <laughs> okay, now. Having a little trouble with right. this thing here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to lay these around decoratively around the duck. Lay them decoratively? Yeah, lay them decorative. You don't want to, once you've got the parsimons in here, you don't want to be stirring anything. Mm, man, right? I tell you that, I can okay. understand why people that. say they kind of get drawn up. It's like, uh, it's like alum in your mouth. That's why you want to cook them. Or you want to eat them, uh, you want to eat them if, once they're uh, ripe. Okay? Wow. You get them in here. Need water or something. <laughs> Is there anything left? I think they're good tasting. We got any water like over there anywhere? Oops, we less crew. Now, when you're finished, you let this cook and you let it reduce down. Are you paying attention? Yeah, okay. you. This is what cook it looks it, like it. when you're actually done. It's an absolute go. Show that here. right here. Oh. Is that nice? Isn't that a lovely it's, it's duck? It's an absolutely beautiful dish. Let me get our uh, tasters taste. over here because this is such an outstanding dish that we had to bring two. Two. No, you come right over here, sir. Just, just stand right here next to her. Are you all together? Do you know him? No. no. Oh, y'all don't know each other? No. What's your name and where you're from? Jim Wiley, from Brandon. From Brandon all your yeah. life? Yeah. Oh, 12 years ago, I moved down from Ohio. From Ohio. Right over. Is there a town there? We're going to play uh, you uh, guys' uh, football game, you know, coming up. Ohio State versus Florida. Oh, Ohio State and yeah. Florida State. Yeah. You're right. You want to go back up there with your fannies kicked. And how about you? What's your uh, name? I'm Reaper? Joyce Alvaro from Long Island, New York. Oh, Joyce from New York. Is that in Long Island? Long Island. That is on Long Island, I can tell. And here she is. See what I was talking about? Can you get a close-up of this? Notice. Mickey has these two big buttons, but he's got no shirt on. Never had a shirt on. And then we have Donald with no pants. And you know, something else that's always bothered me. Daisy and Donald, were they brother and sister? Were they, was it an estranged marriage or what? I mean, because why are, you, why are we going there was this Huey, direction? Dewey, and Louie, these nephews that came from nowhere. And nobody ever explained because Donald never lived with Daisy. So they were married and didn't yeah. live together. Okay, you guys get to well, try this. Do we have two forks? Yes, we, we have two forks. We have a piece there. And I'm going to cut up a piece of that persimmon and see how you uh, see you like. Of course, Which one's going to try the persimmon? Well, it, it depends on who's not regular. Here, come on and give this a try. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yeah, you can, try it. You can you give know. it the first try shot the here. Persimmon. Just, you like let the it. woman get it. Grab it. There's a, you there's might want to try the duck there in the middle. That's better than the persimmon. Oh, you're going to try the persimmon. Yeah. They're both going for the persimmon. Nobody's right. eating the duck. Wait a minute. The duck's the good part of us. Nobody cooks with persimmon. I don't Isn't blame him. I don't blame him. I still is about to be inside out. Like He's going to try this. I'm dying to try it. It's like duck Laurent's. It's called the prune duck. <laughs> and if you want a copy of the recipe, send a stamp self-addressed envelope to prune duck, box 1932, Tampa 336, Ot 1. And we'll be back in a moment. Thank you very much for doing such a great job. Isn't that good? Girls, you are dynamite.